everyone. I thought I'd do a bit of an updated beauty products video just to kind of show you what I use for my face, like my face washing routine, um, products that I use on my hair, as well as a little bit of the makeup stuff because I know I've gone into detail about makeup in a past video, but this is just a bit of a refresher for those of you who are just new to my channel. So if you like this, please let me know and I'd appreciate any comments that you have. You can put that in the comment section below and please subscribe if you like it because that means you will get my videos straight to your inbox. All right, let's do it. everyone I'm gonna take you through some of the products that I love and well maybe just getting to know because uh, as you know and I've mentioned a lot that I'm on a bit of a, a skin journey I'm trying to do different things to to bring some more clarity to my skin I do with a lot of acne especially on my cheeks left and right in the lower jaw area and um, I've been really trying to work on my diet as well as changing up my regimen a little bit, being a little more vigilant and consistent uh, in regard to what I'm using. So I thought, to ju I thought I'd just show you a few things. So I'm going to start off first of all with the what I use to wash my face on a daily basis. Um, if I don't have makeup on at, or if I do have makeup. So first I'm going to start off with what I do if I am wearing makeup. And first of all, I found that um, a lot of the, the makeup removers are very harsh on my skin and aren't, they just don't feel good after the fact. And so I've started using coconut oil. Using coconut oil to um, basically clean the makeup off. So this is uh, organic coconut oil. It changes consistency, as you know, uh, and it could be a little bit messy, but I sort of just use um, a actual face cloth to, and you warm it up a little like a hot face cloth and then wipe it off completely because I don't want to constantly keep throwing away cotton swabs or the cotton pads and so to me it's just easier to put it all over your face like that and then wipe it off after that and then once I do that I go in and I wash it with uh, Caudalie that's a product that I'm using now that I really like it's a foaming cleanser it is uh, they do 1% for the planet and they don't have any parabens any sodium lorith which I, I can appreciate and so forth so I like the natural products in this clarifying deep and what I do is that I put this on my Clarisonic so I use the Clarisonic every other day with this but if I do put on makeup I always use this and I'm trying to only do makeup like once a week um, and then once I put this on then I do this moisturizer moisturizer which is also the Caudalie which is the uh, cream sorbet moisturizer I'll put all the information in the section below but that's what that looks like and then sometimes I also do uh, like a little bit of a mask a moisturizing mask I'm sort of out of this one, but this is what it looks like. It's This is a small travel size one. A mask every other day. And then I also do a bit of a scrub, but I have a natural scrub in Lush that I use, but I forgot to bring it out for you. But so basically that's what I do um, in order to wash my face, get off makeup and that kind of stuff. And for the most part, I feel like it has been working in terms of just the general smoothness. Like my skin feels more moisturized. Whenever I do get breakouts though, I tend to use two things and I don't use a whole lot of this every time because it can be dr drying. This bottle is dirty, dirty for so I can't even show you it, I'm ashamed. But it's the tea tree oil. I put tea tree oil on spots that I'm getting, but then if I have like an, uh, I'm gonna be on set for a TV show or whatever I might be working on, I tend to use this Kate Somerville Eradicate in a Snap. They come in these little uh, Q-tip like things. It looks like that. And then you break one off. I don't want to waste this, okay? Break one off and then I, uh, you snap it and then you just put that piece on the end. So this is not as natural because it has like the silicic 
what is it, sulfur, that, that thing, how do you spell that word, but the thing that they use mostly to remove acne and so forth is in that, um, salicylic acid, salicylic, <laughs> anyway, so I find this is okay, it looks weird, and I tend to wear it and just like take the dog out, like I did this morning, and then my husband thinks I'm crazy, but I don't care, it's early in the morning, I don't care, how about my acne treatment, so I use that a lot, uh, sorry Remy, I just dropped it on the floor. I find sometimes when I do use my um, Clarisonic that sometimes I get skin redness a little bit because I have very, very, very um, sensitive skin. So I use this Illumiere MD uh, Calm, Calm R. It's for redness relief lotion. So I've been using this guy a lot and I find it helps when I do have a little bit of a flare, when it gets a little red. Uh, so that helps to calm it down a little bit, but I really have been enjoying the Caudalie line. I like this hand and nail cream. It's been lovely for my hands and nails. Especially at this time of year when things are so, so dry. So that's basically what I kind of do in terms of skin um, and my daily routine. So I've been trying to keep that up. In terms of my hair, yes, guess what? The weave is back. The weave reach back. I... <laughs> Especially in the winter, it's a protective style. I'm really, really happy with the way that my hair's been progressing. It's grown a lot, it's a lot thicker. Um, I'm not putting as much relaxer. I still do some relaxer. I do wash and wear from Jasmine, as you know. But I like to put protective styles in so not, I'm, so I'm not putting heat on my hair. Whenever I go to an audition, whenever I'm on set, I, I, I have to put my hair straighter because I'm often playing an anchor, reporter, newscaster, and those are the styles that they want for those roles. And I don't want to constantly be putting heat on my hair. When I'm not doing TV or if I, you know, I'm just here working, my, I wash my hair every other day and well not as much but in the winter but I do as much and then I just I put a lot of moisturizer in it and I just leave it but right now I am wearing a Brazilian loose if anybody wants to know from Miss Inches and what I essentially do if I'm washing I use uh, shampoo from mostly from Loxura Surya which is actually um, a local brand and I, I came discovered these folks through a friend of mine, a brother of my brother's good friend, roommate, and I've been using their stuff. This is the coconut oil detangling leave-in conditioner, but I also have the shampoo and the regular conditioner as well. And I like the results. I use their um, argan oil, hair oil as well. Just uh, mostly on my natural hair. I don't use it as much on this, this whatever this is, but I use it on my natural hair definitely in the back and in this lower area where I tend to get a lot of breakage because it's like rubbing up on my scarf especially and when you're wearing higher neck things and your hood and all of that business that we have to do for the winter. So I use that a lot. I don't know what this is. I think my mother left this here for me, but I'll use this like from time to time. Like I'll put it on a little bit just right here to hold down my fray ways on the top. But um, I really don't do a whole lot to my weave if I do have it in, but I'll use something like that. Oh, sorry guys, it fell on the ground, but this guy, like that. So what do you think? That was just a little overview. I do have um, some of the other mix and knacks that I use from time to time. I don't wear perfume. I don't have perfume. It's just not something I, I, I liked. All of my friends will tell you that I'm not really into perfume. I guess I like body spray here and there, but as I get more into using natural ingredients, I don't want to use body spray as much because it's so, um, it's so much alcohol. And I've been having tr trouble finding a natural body spray that isn't just like lavender or something that you know something I, I want like a citrus body spray that's natural do you have any any suggestions I don't know so for now what I use is a natural fragrance called this one is yoga and this is from sage wellness I like sage products a lot um, and so I just kind of do a little dab dab here a little rubby rubby and it actually is an oil because I know a lot of people say you shouldn't rub your your, your perfume but I do this because it's it's actually an oil and I like it it smells nice if you had if you're able to smell it you would but it comes in a nice little case as well so those are some of the things I use so if you want to learn more about uh, makeup I didn't go through my makeup stuff as much this time around 
But um, if you want to know more about that, let me know. And if you want some more specific details in regard to how I style my hair, because I people always ask me if I style my own hair, and yes, I do. Uh, I try to do as much as I can in terms of putting on my own makeup and styling my own hair, just because I don't got the time or the money really to be going all the time and getting my hair styled and getting makeup done. So that's that. If you like it, again, as always, please let me know. I'm curious to hear your suggestions and what you think about some of the products that I use. Uh, let me know in the comment section and please subscribe. Thank you. See you later.